community of Bend is proud. There's pride in their city, organizations, businesses, and recreation. With all that Bend has to offer, it doesn't come to surprise me that so many people have moved here. Bend is the fourth fastest growing city in the United States, according to the Census Bureau. With an increase in population, there's been an increase in children population, of course. Of the approximately 91,000 people that live here, 13% live in poverty. Of that 13%, 12.2% are children. For these children and their families, there are services available to them. There is the Neighbor Impact Child Care Services, Head Start Programs, and Cascade Youth and Family Center, as well as many others. Um, there are also services that connect the youth of Bend together through different events and activities. When I conducted an interview with a youth coordinator at a local church, I found out that there are outreach programs through churches in Bend, such as Bend Christian Fellowship. Bend Christian Fellowship reaches out to youth and helps them to overcome societal norms and pressures, encourages them to get involved in the community, and helps to teach them morality. BCF's youth outreach, paired with some of the other resources available for youth in Bend, make for a good start in the right direction. However, this is just simply not enough. I found it difficult to locate these resources upon scanning my community. Most of these resources were also geared towards adult outreach more so than children. Why is this? What should be our main focus here in Bend? The problem placed before us is that there are not enough readily accessible resources for children and youth to fulfill their needs. In order for children to thrive, basic physiological needs must be met. A great model to reference is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. For children to reach success, the most basic levels must be met. If children do not have access to physiological supports and safety supports, how do we expect children to do well in life? The state of Oregon supports innovations that address homelessness. Oregon State Law 458.528 states that Oregon will work to encourage innovation by state, regional, and local agencies that will create the comprehensive and collaborative support system and housing resources vital for a successful campaign to end and prevent homelessness. Bend is attempting this policy here in our community. There are some organizations already set in place to address these issues, including the Assistance League of Bend, local churches, as well as shelters. These organizations are helping those in need in Bend to help develop a sense of overall community togetherness while also em emphasizing the need for family unity. Since Bend is family-centered and focuses on its community, this solution I have may work. My innovation is the Sharing Center. The Sharing Center brings help to children in need right where they are and exactly where they need to be. The Sharing Center provides necessities such as clothes and food for children who need it. These centers are school-run and students, staff, and even parents can volunteer their time, services, and goods to keep the center running. The Sharing Center aims to help children exactly where they are and provide them with what they need at the most basic level. The Sharing Center also encourages school involvement and develops pride within school communities. These centers are also readily available and do not require children and their families to look hard for help. By supporting the Sharing Centers, you are supporting your schools and the children within your community. You can donate supplies and goods to Sharing Centers as well as talking with school administration about children in need and ideas to help implement or improve Sharing Centers. This problem has really impacted how I view my very own community of Bend, Oregon. This is a place that I grew up in. My goal is for all children in Bend to have the necessary supports and resources to lead a happy and healthy life. My professional statement is this. My name is Kara Pilon, and I want to empower and support children in my life, professionally and personally, and give them the education and resources they may need to succeed in life. By building mutual trust and a viable connection with my students, I can and will be the positive change that a child may need in their life to help them succeed. By supporting the Sharing Center and supporting my personal and professional goals, you will help make the world a better place, especially for those in need. You will help encourage community and connection through volunteerism, donation, and recycling. Through, you will also help Ben focus locally and help foster community pride in our local schools, and you will help reach out to local children and families in need.